praise the Lord ever about. At this time, I just gotta ask you to bow your head in reverence of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. God and Savior Jesus Christ, we give you thanks this morning for your goodness towards us. Lord, we thank you this morning for the holding up of the rain. We thank you for such an opportunity in which we never thought we could have. We want to ask you right now, God, to let your spirit abide with everyone in this house. Touch every member of the bereaved family right now. And to an extension, the church family, the entire community of Gale, because we have lost a stalwart of this community. Strengthen us even in this troublesome time. Let your power fall. When your name is called, you prove the doctors wrong that you are one again. Thank you for blessing and marking even the day for such a great woman of God. Praise the name of the Lord. I want to greet. The members of the very family, to the band and sisters, and the means of the Lord, good to have you. Just about everyone who to have passed or watch here, is here. Put your hands together and bless you, Jesus. Very much to be seized. Praise God. Sister Janet will be coming with the first lesson. And Sister Lloyd will be coming with us uh, tribute. And then Sister Vanessa Dingham will be coming with the second lesson. Please come in that order in Jesus' name.
such a courageous commander of Christ, that tribulation, our distress, our persecution, our famine, our nakedness, our peril, our sword. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that love us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, thirty-nine and last, nor height, nor death, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Let's praise the Lord, everyone. Somebody praise the Lord again. Mother Wallace was a member of this church. She used to clap, she used to sing, she used to worship God lively. It is hard to just put her away like that. It makes the grieving process harder to succumb to. Now, when we have a memorial service for her, a prime minister of the country finds out that it helps the family to come to closure properly. Praise the name of the Lord. So as long as we maintain the protocol, the number of persons that they ask us to have, and keep our distance, rear our mask, we are in no trouble with the law. At the burial site, we are asked just 15 persons. So the mixers and the pastor and just a few of the family members will have to make up the 15 persons right at the burial site. So I'm asking everyone to bear these in mind and let's abide with the protocol. Praise the name of the Lord. I see on the program here where Brother Alton Dunn is going to give a cherub, son-in-law, and also Pastor Hebert Walsh is a brother of the deceased. He will be coming to give his cherub also. So please come, Brother Alton, by blessing as he comes in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Today I just, you know, you know, it's a big feeling to know that we have lost. I have lost mother and law I you know. And she's such a good person, very good person to me. And you know, Mother Wallace is a person who very kind, very loving, kind and cheery. You know, sometimes I go around him and give him his little money, he's one to share with us. And you know, sometimes you would want to even to refuse it. But he's just that type of person. And she's just that type of person. I'm very kind and I just want to tell you that we really miss her so much. And in our time of sickness, it's really rough, you know. But there are times when we have to take her to the hospital. And I won't put her in the ear as one of the strong arms to lift her because, you know, she lost one of her legs and so on. So I really miss her and I just want to thank the Lord. But, you know, the Lord knows all things. And all things do him, all things are possible, and he understands. So, Amen. I just want to encourage us as family to stick together, stay together, and may the Lord continue to bless us and keep us in Jesus' name. Amen. I overlook Brother Romain, his grandson. We're going to give selection, just do it short, and let's get it. From the Is he here? Yes. Okay. Come past. Come and do your business with him. Let me take this opportunity to greet as 
Sir Joseph Lewis and his wife, right? and all the ministers here, family members and friends, greetings. Um, when we meet in this way, it is not nice and it is not, you know, a pleasant feeling. Sometimes when you have loved ones and they just suddenly pass, then it hurts a lot. But sometimes when they, you know they are sick and when you reach certain position, it's like you're preparing yourself. But even though you are preparing for the worst, when it comes, it still hurts. That's right. Hallelujah. But the son, there's a thought that said, Lord, we may not now that purpose see, but all is well that's done by me. I remember my sister very well. I remember as a tackler that everywhere she's going, I will be her little packy book. Because if she wanted to, maybe I can talk to a little boyfriend or something like that. When she has me so papa is not gonna feel no way or I think she's doing anything wrong. But you know, as we grow up and mature in life, we realize that things and time has changed. She, I can say, was a very stern person. And she is such a person as this, if she decided on something, it's her way or no way. But we are thankful today that we can be here to celebrate her life. And, you know, I am not here, neither either any of us are here, to judge when somebody passed where they go. Because a lot of us go to church, but we don't know where we will end up. But one thing I can assure of today, as First John 3 verse 2 declared, Lord, hallelujah, it does not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when we shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Beloved, now, Hallelujah. not tomorrow, not yesterday, now are we the sons of God. And it does not yet appear what we shall be. Yes. But we can declare today, I know, yes. that when he shall appear, I shall be like him. Amen. But I shall see him as he is. Whatever you are doing now, whatever you think is okay now, make sure it lights up with the word of God. Make sure that the life you live today can speak for you tomorrow. But in the light, in the grave, there is no remembrance. When you die, you die. When you are gone, you are gone. But today, as the word of God declares, if you hear his voice, all not your heart. As we come today, and as we gather, to pay our last respect to Sister Whitbell, let us all be reminded, as the word of God said, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. We have so much to say, but we can understand the time and the season. So let us prepare ourselves for what the lost trump shall sound and the dead in Christ shall rise. Oh, that we will be caught up together to be with the Lord in the year, and so shall we ever be. Make sure that your calling and election is right. God bless you. Praise the name of the Lord. Somebody say praise the Lord. Somebody lift your hands and worship the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God.
explain that if a hard card
Stephen Public Hospital, then later to St. Joseph's Hospital. After hearing for a while, on May 9, 2021, she succumbed to her illness. It, it was a sad and good morning when the news of mother's past became the her received and honored guest with the words, aka what was known as Mama Sister Bill. She led to rest in the desert of our hearts. Let the healing content flow. She will always be remembered by her. Six children, two stepchildren, 16 grandchildren, nine grandchildren, nine great grandchildren, mother, five sisters, eight brothers, one uncle, an aunt, nieces, nephews, and other relatives and friends. May her soul rest in peace and like a petrol. Thank you for the reading of the life of other ones. Praise the name of God. We are coming to a close of this memorial service for the life of other ones. But I want to share a word with you. I don't know if you notice that there is a change in the time. People are complaining more. The housewives, when they go to the supermarket, they can't pay for the goods that they picked up. What you spent last week gone up more. Hallelujah. The Bible said in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3, to everything there is a season huh? and a time to have a purpose under heaven. A time to born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep. Today we are weeping the loss of our sister, our mother, our aunt. Hallelujah, her mother. Where whatever she is to you, you are weeping. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It's a time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones. A time to embrace ah, and a time to refrain from embracing. This is a pandemic. This is a, a disease. Your acts not to offer. Your acts not to get close to anyone. But I'm saying to somebody today that the world
and he gained the soul. So the scripture says, what shall it profit a man to gain his own word and lose your soul? What shall a man give in exchange for her soul? Mother Watson, Mother Wallace was a beautiful soul. She acknowledged that there is a part of God on the inside of her. So she do her part. She makes sure it can be person. She makes sure that a time in Jesus' name. She makes sure that the infilling of the Holy Ghost, knowing that she was with a period passing through like was for a time. So the scripture said, after that, dear come. Judgment. It's an appointment. We got to meet it. When I look at the mystery of God, no man dead and conscious. You could march some more. You'd never see a madman walk out into a movie view. You know that if that vehicle hit him, it's the last moment. If you are drunk, and as soon as the life is going to leave the body, you come to consciousness that you are dying. If you are sick, hallelujah, and you lie down to your deathbed, as soon as the dead knock at your door, you know that you are going. You don't feel good. I feel like I'm going. It's that conscious part of you which is called a soul. We are just passing through the fact the prettiness and the pretty man is just for this part of life. But there's a bigger part coming. That's why the word of God said the dead in Christ shall rise first. That we that are alive and remain shall go up. Go up to meet him in the year. Let's stand to our feet away. We're going home. We're passing through. We can't spend the time that we would like to spend with the family today because of protocols. The time is running out. Time is running out. Look into your life. See how you live. And let's leave Babylon and come. Before we sing the recession of the I'm going to ask you a family member just to raise your hand wherever you are. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord, we ask you to come for them. Comfort them right now. Without your comfort, without your healing, Lord, we ask you to move through this family right now. In the name of Jesus, do something extraordinary. And if there's one in that family that not yet turned over their life to you, we ask you, God Almighty, in this funeral service, knowing that Mother Wallace is gone to be with you. You have taken her for a higher service in you. Jesus, in order for them to see her again, they have to meet your requirement. They have to be born again. They have to be born of the water. Born of the spirit. Born of the blood. They have to meet your requirement. Lord, we ask you to touch them right now and comfort them. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's sing the first verse of the Oh, I want to see him. And the chorus, and then we do move to the very end. As I journey through the land, sing as I go, pointing souls to God.